Okay, we are going to find the domain and the range of this function, and this is a square root situation. So remember what we have to do right here, right? And again, let me just remind you guys, well, whenever we have f of x that's equal to square root of the inside, if it's just linear, let's write it as ax plus b, and then on the outside, we have the number that's a plus c like this. Then the domain of the square root, be sure you have to make sure the inside is greater than or equal to zero. So in our case, we have 2 minus x. So let's go ahead and just put down 2 minus x. And we have to make this greater than or equal to 0. And again, we have the lecture videos. So you guys can go back to review all this. And we now just have to solve this. Minus 2 on both sides. And then just do the usual business. So let me do that. They cancel. And by the way, how are you guys doing? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyway. Keep the greater than or equal to symbol because we didn't divide anything, right? So let's write this down like this. And then we will divide both sides by negative t1. But we divide both sides by negative 1. This will tell us x will be, you have to switch to inequality now, less than or equal to. And then negative 2 divided by negative 1, we get 2. So this right here is it. Now, for the range of f, well, let me just write this down again. Whenever we have f of x, that's equal to the square root ax plus b and then plus c. Yeah. Notice here is positive, right? So in that case, the range of f is just that here we have the c, y is greater than we could to c. That is it. All right. That's all you have to do. Just look at what this number is and then set y is greater than or equal to this number. Oops, c, not zero. And again, to do that, you have to make sure the coefficient in front of the square root, this has to be a positive. If it's a negative, you have y less than or equal to c, right? Anyway, this is what we have. And you can just tell c in this case, the number also of the square root is 4. So we just get y greater than or equal to 4. And yes, this is it.